Now, to let's say the idea of exit timeout. I, I have already a computer and a switch, and I'm in the uh, user mode of this iOS. And now, for instance, if I'm not using this uh, iOS for some time, then the iOS will automatically log me off. Okay. So what happens? By default, the switch or router automatically logs you off if you are not using the iOS for that much time. So for instance, if we wait here and if the iOS is inactive for some time and that time can be any time, so we can actually configure that time. But what happens? The switch will wait that for that much time and once that time is over, then switch will just log us off from the from the command line interface. The session will be ended. So you see. So after some time, the switch actually logs us off from the session. And to go again to the uh, command line interface, we need this uh, enter again, and we are in the user mode. So this is how the switch actually automatically logs us off. And uh, we can change this time, so we can say, please wait for us for one minute or five minutes, or please do not log us off any time. So we should um, be forever there. So we have different options for that. And we can set that using this exit timeout command. And for that exit timeout command, we need to go to the specific interface where we want to set this time, for example. At the moment, we want to set the time on the console port. Then we need to go to console port. And for that, we just config T and then line, line console zero. And here, we want to set that time. And the command for that is exit timeout. And then first minute and then second. So for example, if we give zero minute and 10 seconds it means after every 10 seconds the session will end and we will be locked out of that session okay so let's say 10 seconds and then we say exit and uh, so as a proof let's wait for 10 seconds is the switch is going to uh, log us off of the session yes so you can see after 10 seconds the switch the iOS of the switch uh, logged us off from the session. Then, if you want to go again, then I will press enter. But sometimes we want a configuration that we do not want to log off from the session. It should never log us off. Then, what should we do? We should again go to global configuration mode and uh, line console zero. And here, again, the exit timeout command. And here, we will say zero minutes and zero seconds. So this command will help us to stay in the station. So now, whatever time we are inactive on the command line interface, it will not end our station. We will be there. It will not log us, log us off. Okay. So we will be there. We will not be disconnected with this command. But be careful. It's better to set some time there. Okay. So this is the job of exit timeout. And yes, you can you can use the same command for the telnet as well. So for that, you need to go to a line BTY. So what you need to do, you need to go to line BTY. So line BTY, 0 and 15, 0 to 15. And then you need to use that exit, exit timeout command. So that was for console. And for virtual terminals, you also need to use the same command again. Now to let's say the last command, no IP domain lookup. So again, we have this computer and we have this switch. So what happens, sometimes we are using this command line interface of a switch or router, and we accidentally give some uh, command which is incorrect. Uh, there is some typing mistake, and we press enter. You see what happens? As soon as we um, press the enter, we the command line interface are sorry the iOS of the switch is going to uh, is going to translate or is going to um, try to get the IP address for that. Actually, what happens 
if we use this command, the switch, uh, the iOS of the switch considers this as a host name and will try to convert that host name into its IP address. So switch considers that we want to ping some host name whose name is IPA and it's going to um, find out the IP address by using domain server, by using domain services. So domain server is going to convert, are going to map our domain name into the IP address. So it will take some time because it is going, it's trying to resolve that name into some IP address. And after that wait, it will say that uh, domain server are unable to find the computer address. So what happened? We, 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 were, we were waiting for it to resolve that. But there is also a way that we can ask the switch, please do not do that thing, we cannot wait. So please do not try to resolve that host name into IP address. And for that we have that command and that command is no IP domain lookup. So if you use that command, no IP domain lookup, the switch or router will not try to resolve the host name into the IP address if we, are, if we have made some mistake in typing when we are going to give some command to the switch. So no IP domain lookup command is used for that. And for that, we need to go to the global configuration mode. So we are in the global configuration mode and here just to use no lookup, no, so no IP DOM. So no IP domain and then lookup, okay? So this is the command. And after this command, say for example, if we go again, if we go and write some any 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 mistyped command, so IPA again, and press enter. You see, now at this time we uh, we we were not waiting for this to resolve it, so it didn't check it. So our no IP domain lookup ask the switch that please do not try to resolve this name into IP address. So this time we didn't wait for it, for it and we used no IP domain lookup command to disable this feature where the switch actually automatically tries to resolve the host name into IP address. And this is because the switch considers, our switch thinks that we want to ping a computer or a host or a node whose host name is this. And to ping that, it needs an IP address. And to get an IP address, the switch uh, contacts with the domain name server or DNS, and then it tries to resolve it. But this is actually not the host name, so, uh, uh, so this is unsuccessful. It's not going to find out the IP address, but what happens is we have to wait for that. So we don't want to wait for that because this is not useful at this stage. So we use the command of no IP domain lookup and we are done with that. And now the iOS is not going to resolve that thing to us. So this is it for today. We discussed three commands and thank you. Thank you very much.